Hey there. You must be here to eagerly find out what the first secret is to be playing any song that you hear at your will, whatever and whenever you want. You are reading this or listening to this because you want to find out how I, Amos Doll, can post up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 <laughs> newly released songs within a day whilst also having other priorities such as work, social and family. Because I know you are a busy person too. That is why I am teaching you this efficient method. Good news, what if I told you that you could do the same? The same as in only spending up to 10 to 20 minutes of time listening to a completely new song while simultaneously using the secrets and systems in this book in order to properly play by ear and improvise anything that you once thought it was impossible to do or blamed it on the excuse that a person could only do it with talent. Alright, so you're listening to this course <laughs> it's pretty much recorded live because as you can see like I'm just playing and also improvising at the same time whilst I'm talking so just bear with me I am Asian so my English is not very good so um, excuse my stutters and wrong grammar or whatever but like I just want to get this message out to you so just listen to me all right so don't worry this was what I thought too when I was young I started off piano just like any typical child who was forced by my parents into learning classical music from Bach Mozart, Beethoven, and as such. It was such a repetitive process of learning music of about four songs with the tedious visual sheet music learning methods over and over in preparation for graded exams. I always played my songs by memory because I hated sheet music reading in front of me. I felt stressed because I needed to look up and down rapidly and from this I also could not fully enjoy the singing melodies of the songs in my head. It was like a battle in interpreting what each symbol was, and an eye straining process to see which line or space that a note was located on. I felt like it was a chore to learn those few exam songs over and over again, and I felt many people, like my friends back then, or perhaps even you, I felt that playing the piano was getting more boring because I wasn't playing the songs that I wanted to play and that I was achieving very little by learning only a few songs in a long period of time. It was not until the final year in primary school where I discovered the power of playing by ear and improvisation. My first series of songs that I played by ear posted online onto YouTube was from a Chinese movie called uh, it was by Jay Chow it's called The Secret you can actually search up my YouTube and date all the way back seven years ago and to see my first videos like they're all there including the um and the, the yeah those ones anyway so they are all there you can check it all up if you want but for now just listen to this lesson there are a lot of interesting piano songs in that movie that I wanted to play back then, but there was no sheet music. I was bored in playing my four classical songs over and over again, and I was thinking to myself, how can I learn to play these songs that I like in the fastest way possible without any sheet music? I first tried guessing and checking, like a lot of people do, by repetitively playing and rewinding each second to try and match each note and trying out each key. It's like, uh, uh, no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 uh, no. Yeah, so obviously that didn't work so well because it took such a long time to even get one melody line out. What I tried next was the game changer to my music life and both my YouTube and performance in life, in real life, <laughs> and like in piano competitions that I entered. I began to listen to recordings on everything that I needed. For example, my exam stuff and the stuff that I wanted to play, the things that I hear on the radio. Like, I just want to play all of them on the piano because it was so awesome. Yeah, from this, I started to figure out patterns within songs. It was similar within every song and it was to do with the most ignored and disliked thing in traditional music learning, which is scales and arpeggios. Amazing tool that I found easily done by the ear than reading on sheet music is the complex rhythm patterns in songs. 
Have you ever looked at a sheet music and saw a crazy bunch of rhythmic symbols and notes grouped in such a way that you had no idea what speed you have to play? Etc. This concept has actually been visited when you were in preschool and primary school, but you actually didn't notice it. Do you remember there was a thing in your teachers do, like there was a thing that what your teachers do when they um, wanted everyone's attention and when the class was too noisy or something? They clapped their hands in a particular rhythm pattern and you and every other child in the crowd had to use your ear and listen then try to clap back the exact rhythm. Remember? And then you go... Alright, <laughs> yeah, so you remember that, right? Well, if you do, um, like if you did this back then, this means you already have some music school that you are unintentionally blended into your mind. Believe it or not, these simple things are all in the magic in playing any song by ear in an extremely short learning time. After discovering these awesome systems, I was like any excited kid waiting to unwrap a Christmas present, <laughs> perhaps in Christmas. I quickly did all the 10 songs from that movie and posted all of them onto YouTube within a week. It was a very exciting life changing experience for me because that was the turning point in my life where I actually started to love playing music and wanted more because I wanted to play every song that I liked simply by listening to it and applying the systems that a lot of traditional teachers did not teach. One thing I will guarantee you, after learning all these systems in this book, as long as a song have a singable structure, like it's singable, meaning that it's not purely um, non-pitch percussions, like boom, <laughs> beatboxing. No, even better, as long as you can hear proper sounds and that you can actually pitch or sing in your mind, I guarantee it is all playable. For example, like... Something like that, like, you just want to improvise something, it's basically you have your, um, ideas in your mind and you I will teach you how you can actually be able to pitch it out and voice it out and actually play it on the piano as one. Alright, you can trust me and have my word in all of this because unlike a lot of like so-called play-by-ear programs or like teachers online which talks way more than pushing you straight into an ear training course rather than actually proving it, I actually do this every day and you might have known in extreme amounts up to five YouTube videos in one day by posting the newest songs release, sometimes within less than an hour from the official release of the song's audio. It is extremely fun to learn new songs that I hear and that I like in a short period of time because this is actually my passion, music. By using this book system more and more, by listening to more and more songs and playing them by the system of ear and improvisation, the faster you will identify these system patterns within songs, and the more you will actually enjoy music with this power. I am here to give you this powerful tool, because by reading what I am telling you right now or listening, already it means that you must love music as much as I do. This course is definitely for all of you, because this will actually boost up a fast learning curve to any style of music that you want to pursue or play by ear, whether it is classical, pop music, I couldn't think of a pop music anyway, but rock, Because by learning how to properly play by ear and understanding the music systems and knowledge behind everything is truly the key to being a master at all music. This is my musical philosophy and it is deeply reflected inside my over 300 number of posted videos on YouTube in these past few months using this method. Yep, yeah, so <laughs> I'm recapping again. Hi, I am Amos Star Music. I am a passionate music teacher both offline and online a singer-songwriter on SoundCloud, and a live performer, solo and band keyboardist of Affinity Live Productions, and for YouTube. 
who has taught thousands around the world, just like you, to learn piano in the shortest, most effective amount of time possible. So I hope you have a good time in this course, and I'll see you around.